years ago, many, many years ago, uh, a young man named, I believe it was Richard Kelly, came out with a film called Donnie Darko, which I thought was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. It connected with me right at the right time. It caught me right at the right age. And I just thought it was one of the greatest movies ever made. And I waited and I waited and I waited for his next film. And when it came out, it was Southland Tales. And it totally just knocked the wind out of me because I hated it. And it was a disappointment from where we started. And uh, that's happened to me again. It's happened to me again with Under the Silver Lake. Directed by David Robert Mitchell, who di directed It Follows, which I feel is one of the greatest horror films of the past ten years. I believe it would be top three, top four for me. absolutely love the movie. Got the steel book of it. Got the t-shirt of it. And uh, I was waiting for his next film. And Andrew Garfield stars in what is that film. So, uh, where do we begin with this one now? These, I don't know how these got here. I don't know who gave them that, uh, whoever Time Out New York is. I don't know what they were watching. I don't know what they were smoking when they watched it. Because to me, this, this thing just does not, does not do anything for me. And, uh, let's see, where, where do I even begin with this one? Let's first of all say that this is a DVD because they're not doing a press Blu-ray. Now, it's okay if an indie director does a, pair, uh, a BDR. I will take that. I'll accept that. That's fine. But when Universal, or in this case, Lionsgate, not Universal, when Lionsgate is doing Burn on Demand Disc for Blu-rays, I'm not sure how I feel about that. And that's what you're going to get with Under the Silver Lake if you don't get the DVD. But basically, this guy is kind of a slacker. He kind of sits around. He don't do a whole lot. He kind of spies on his neighbors and all that good stuff. And then he kind of becomes friends with this girl. And then the girl disappears. And the girl's dad dies. And it's like this big giant conspiracy. And he's trying to figure out what happened to her. And it just opens up like a wormhole and a wormhole and a wormhole. And it just keeps going this way and that way. To eventually, I don't know what the hell is going on. So, basically, this movie is way longer than it should be. It's well over two hours. It, it's, it's a movie that tries to shove probably 15 pounds of shit in a 5 pound bag. Maybe a 5 pound bag. So, it, it's not a it, it's not a movie that everybody's going to enjoy. It's an acquired taste. It's a key lime pie of a film. It's a film that probably has a few good moments spread out, but they're so few and far in between, and you're going to get probably bored and so confused in between those few and far and in between moments that you're not going to care when they happen. So, what went wrong with this one? Why? Why this? Why this happened? I don't know. It follows was so fresh. It was so fun. It was so eerie. It was just like this great, great horror movie that. Maybe borrowed from an old After Dark, you know, eight films that I have four thing that some people say did from within. I don't know. I'd have to go watch that. But it blew me away when it came out. This just makes me very, very disappointed. Uh, Andrew Garfield, you know, I liked him better as Spider-Man than I do as this guy here. Uh, there's a bunch of weird characters. There's a bunch of weird stuff that happens here. And... And it all plays into this big conspiracy and this cult and, you know, it, it just zigzags all over the plot point to the point that you don't know what's going on. Or you're going to get lost because it just takes so long to get to the point. So, if you're wanting to watch this movie, I would say rent it. If you have a family video, you should rent it. If you have a red box, maybe rent it. But if you're, if you're only good at getting this because you thought that It Follows was great and you thought this director was going to just follow it up with like something that equally is great, I would not get this. Because you're going to be extremely disappointed. But the DVD has a What Lies Under the Silver Lake, which is like a, fe a feature ad and a beautiful Spectre feature ad. And uh, no commentary. Would like to have one because this thing, I don't know, I feel like it needs some, ex you know, some sort of explanation here. Um... It's 139 minutes. It's, it's got good actors. I mean, the acting isn't the problem. It's just the material is the problem. And it just never really gets off the ground for me personally. And it just highly disappoints me because I know this director can do a whole lot better than he did with this. So maybe the third one, whatever his next you know, movie will be, maybe that will be the one that equally gets on as level ground as, you know, It Follows. But 
going back to the original reference here, the guy that directed Donnie Darko, he never really got back up there either, so who knows? I guess we'll have to wait and see.